Hello world, it's me again, Jamang Bai, and today we are looking at the Nano Block Chun Li. Or Chun Li. This was a Japanese only release, and I'm happy to have it right here in front of me. And it only costed me $18. The struggle is real. I regret nothing. This is a level 3 out of 5 kit, and it has over 130 pieces inside. Speaking of what's inside, we have four baggies, the instructions, and a really old advertisement for Ultra Street Fighter 4. That just goes to show you exactly how old this model is. 2014. Now let's get this out of here and get started. Let's build up! Round 1 Fight! Round two, fight! Yeah. 
you win. Round one. One.
Ken. Alright, here's Chun-Li in all of her pixelated glory. There's one thing I need to address before I go any further. When it comes to this area, this area right here, I can't stand it. Don't get me wrong, I love the way that Kawada approaches their nanoblock models. And I'll be honest, I can't see this being done in another way. But, if I decide to put this on a base plate, or one of those cases to keep it from being dusty that also has a base plate, I wouldn't be able to do it because it's upside down. Anyway, this is a model of Chun-Li's signature spinning bird kick move from the Street Fighter series. And for the most part, it does a great job at portraying that very thing. From Chun-Li's brown hair, to the blue and gold details of her outfit. And you can't forget about Chun-Li's signature pigtails. And of course, Chun-Li's powerful legs are also represented. There were definitely some parts while building Chun-Li that were a little bit confusing, and that was mainly in the torso region with the placement of the arms. But if there's anything that I learned about building nanoblock, when you're looking at the instructions, always look ahead so you'll see exactly where the block placement is. By the time I got down to the legs, everything was coming together nicely. And then I noticed something. So here we got Chun-Li doing a split, right? And I had to take her off the stand in order to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here. So when you do a split, the front foot is supposed to face up, right? What the heck happened? Huh? What the heck happened? So basically you took a person and you said, you know what? I'm gonna take the back of your foot and break it. Oh! How could you? Now, just to let you guys know that I'm not losing my mind, this is actually in the instructions. Check this out. Why? Why are both feet facing down? How could you? All right, let's wrap things up here. While this is probably not the best nano block model that I've ever built, weird feet aside, I believe this is a pretty good representation of Chun-Li in block form. This is definitely one for the fans. If you're not a fan of Street Fighter or Chun-Li, I wouldn't recommend this at all. And that wraps it up for today's episode of Jamung by Builds. I'll catch you on the next episode. But in the meantime, keep on building. See you later.